Nano drones are a particular type of drones weighing only a few tens of grams. Due to their reduced dimensions, they are preferred for indoor operation as they can safely fly near humans or through narrow spaces. Performing optimal navigation and planning requires the map of the environment. For this purpose, we introduce NanoSlim, the first solution that enables simultaneous localization and mapping onboard the nano drones without relying on any external infrastructure. To enable mapping, we extend the capabilities of the nano drone with our custom hardware. We exploit a novel time of flight matrix sensor, which enables depth estimation with a resolution of 64 pixels. Furthermore, since we are interested in 2D mapping, we reduce the depth matrix to an array by selecting the median pixel from each column. We mount four such sensors on our custom time of flight deck, enabling distance measurement in all directions. In addition, we extend the computing capabilities with the GAP-9 system on chip, which carries all the heavy computation of SLIM. Now let's imagine a scenario where the drone follows the outer wall of a maze. As the drone flies, it stores the distance measurements and the pose estimate. However, the state estimation is not perfect, being affected by odometry drift. Due to this drift, there is a mismatch between the drone's position knowledge and the actual position. The map can be calculated by projecting the distance measurements in the world's coordinate system. But in this case, the trajectory drift leads to mapping errors. To mitigate this issue, we employ the graph-based SLIM. For the sake of the example, Assume a scenario where the drone flies a square trajectory. The idea is to transform the discrete trajectory into a pose graph. Every node represents a pose, and every edge represents an odometry measurement. However, since the odometry is affected by drift, the graph looks like this. And the error grows as more poses are added. So when the drone returns to the starting position, the error is already large. With our approach, the drone acquires a small submap in the start position, which we call a reference scan. Another scan is acquired in the final position, which we call a loop closure scan. Using the ICP algorithm, we can determine the transformation that overlaps a scan on the other. This transformation represents a relative measurement between the poses. Therefore, we can close the loop in the graph by adding the edge measurement provided by ICP. After optimizing the graph, the correction is propagated to all the poses. In a real-world scenario, whenever the drone detects a feature-rich area, it acquires a reference scan. In our work, we use the corners. Note that a minimum distance is imposed between two consecutive scans. When it performs another lap, it pairs every reference scan with a loop closure scan, and using ICP, it generates loop closure edges for the graph. Now we show how the system works in the real world. As the drone flies autonomously, it stores the position, heading, and the distance measurements from the four time of flight sensors. This information is enough to generate the map. As mentioned before, when a corner is detected, the drone acquires a scan. Afterwards, it continues following the outer wall of the maze. When a scan is acquired, the drone spins 45 degrees to achieve full coverage and therefore catch more details in the scan. In the first maze lap, the drone only acquires reference scans as every location is only visited once. However, when the drone crosses the start point, it closes the loop and optimizes the pose graph and, therefore, the map. In the second maze lap, it will close the loop in every corner where a reference scan was acquired. At the end, a final map is provided. Thank you for your attention.